Hey, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll have a look on how to create and publish an blob trigger Azure functions using Visual Studio 2017 15.3 version. So as a prerequisite, we need to have a Microsoft Azure portal account and uh, a Visual Studio 2017 with version 15.3 installed in our machine. So I will provide the link in this video's description. So let's start with creating a new storage account. Let's come to portal.azure.com. Click on new. Select like storage. Storage account with block file table and queue. Provide a name. Let's select the resource group. I will be selecting Dear Azure. You can create new resource group. Let's pin it to dashboard. Click on create. So this will create an storage account. It will take few seconds or a couple of minutes. Okay, great. So the storage account is now created. Let's go to access key and let's copy this connection string so as to we can connect this storage account with our application. So let's open up Visual Studio 2017 version 15.3. It's in preview at the time of recording this video. Let's create a new project. Select cloud, Azure functions, name it as blob demo. function okay so this will create an basic structure click on local settings dot json so here you can see this azure web job storage let's copy that default connection string which we copied from the portal over here so this will act as a connection string for the application which will connect to our blob storage account Let's click uh, right add a new item Azure functions and name it as blob trigger demo add. Now this will uh, provide a list of uh, Azure function types. So as we are Having a look on this blob trigger which is already selected now let's provide that connection this one over here this connection so this will act as a connection string for connecting this application with our, our app storage account uh, Azure storage account now this is the path you can change default cont uh, container name wherein the images is being deployed or uh, sorry uploaded so let's give it a name as images okay so this will create a basic function so this with the function name attribute so this is uh, this will be the start point of the function as you can see we have provided the path as images brace bracket name so this name will be the name of the file which is being uploaded this will act as a connection string so what this function will do is when we whenever we upload an image um, in our azure storage account and images container it will display its name and its length uh, like its size size of that image so it's a very basic uh, a code which is being provided in this template you can do multiple activities once uh, the image is uploaded this is just a sample like uh, to start with so let's deploy this right click on this project name and click on publish so you will uh, get this up uh, options for publishing it to azure let's select this azure function app create new click on publish uh, now you need to logged in with your microsoft azure account so that it will fetch all your uh, details 
it will provide a default name for your function app it will load your subscription your resource group it will try to create an app service plan and your storage so as we are using azure functions let select and consumption plan so as whenever this code is used only then it should be charged Select on consumption. Okay. So all the required details are now filled up. Let's click on create. So deployment or the publishing is still in progress. As you can see, this button is still not enabled. Let's go to portal on function apps. So our function app is now created. So this was the default name, resource group. Let's see whether our block trigger function is published. Still not, it's still in progress. Great, so now this publish button is active our deployment is done let's copy this URL this is our function app URL which has been created you can just go and browse this and it will show us that our function is deployed let's refresh this great so it shows your function is up and running come to our function Yes, we can see our blob trigger demo over here. So it's in read only mode. You can just go to function app settings and click it read and write from here. The same URL. Now let's go to our blob trigger demo. As we have provided this as a connection. Azure Web Storage, Web Job Storage. We can check the logs from here. So now for testing this, uh, we are we will be using Azure Storage Explorer. Now this is a client desktop ad, app for uh, managing our Azure Storage accounts. So let's refresh it. This is my subscription, and this is the one which we created, Dear Azure. So it has block container. It's blank, it's empty. Okay, now let's create a container with name images as we have provided the path as images. So see, as you can see, it's very much easy to create a blob or container, a file, a tables, anything from this uh, storage explorer. Would highly recommend when you are using or working with storage, do install this as your uh, storage explorer. It will make your life easier. So let's deploy uh, or let's upload one image into this container. Let's select this .NET Core 2.0 JPG. I have used this for one of my videos earlier. Let's upload it. So it's now successfully uploaded. Size is 7.7 KB and name is .NET Core 2.0. Let's go to Azure Function Portal check on la uh, on the logs and as you can see it, it got started and it processed our log trigger function got processed it took the name as dotnet 2.0 jpg with a size 7922 bytes so you saw how seamlessly we just created and published our azure functions with a blob trigger using visual studio 2017 hope you enjoyed this video do like my video and kindly subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you. Happy Azure coding.